Gaffer, a six-goal thriller here at Edgeley Park. What could have been three points, but also could have been zero points, ends in one. Can I get your reflection on the game? Yeah, just disappointed we didn't see it through, you know. I'm really pleased with the reaction of the players, you know, um, from, you know, kind of coming in at half-time um, to getting back to 3-2. The, the players showed real character, um, which I trust in them to do that. You know, I know I've got a good group. Um, but we've got to see a game through. You know, we've got to be able to know how to win a game. And at the moment, we haven't quite got that right yet. You know, um, defensively, we've got to do better in them moments. And you know, the third goal uh, is a real killer. Real, you know, considering we got back into the game. Yeah, I just want to talk about the reaction because we spoke last week after the defeat at Swindon. You know how we've got a young group, and it can be difficult for them to sort of reflect. You know, having gone a few goals down, but they did brilliantly today, didn't they? And the the reaction was absolutely fantastic. Well, you know, we had players on the pitch who who were willing to, you know, dig in. Um, you know, we had our, our skipper on the pitch today, and you know his kind of presence, you know, reflects that. And you know, we had uh, we had players willing to go that extra mile today, you know, to get back into the game. Uh, but we showed real character today. Um, and a, a great attitude to get back in, but it's it's a killer when you do get you do all that work and then you you then go and concede again. You know you've almost got to um, defend like your family's life depends on it in them. You know in their moments and uh, you know and we let him in far too easy for me. Yeah, and obviously. We've also spoke a lot previously about the reaction on the other side of half-time. You know, it was a theme last year where perhaps we conceded too many goals in that first sort of 10-minute period, but it was the polar opposite today. We came out flying. Was there any difference in the messages that you delivered to the lads at half-time? Yeah, we made that quite clear that we couldn't do that because that would kill the game if they come out second half and they and we concede and, and they score. Um, you know, in, in, in the opening encounters of the second half, then the game's done. We didn't want that. We felt that we've come a long way. We've prepared really well to not let that happen so the players were conscious of that and of course they uh, they got back in with some really good goals yeah and obviously you spoke earlier in the interview about the you know Ben Gladwin coming back and obviously Lawrence McGuire coming into the side as well with a great goal how good were those additions to the side today yeah, just their presence on the pitch you know just having that little bit more experience on the pitch is important you know like I say we've got a really young group but you know having Glads out there is important to us as uh, he's our skipper um, you know I think that He'll be, uh, it'll probably be sore tomorrow because it's the first game he's playing for, for a long, long while. Um, but he'll be better for it. He will be better for it, definitely. Um, but no, no, I think it's important that we all kind of like are proud of what we've achieved here against a really good side, let me tell you. Really good side, I don't care whether they've started well, good, bad or indifferent. They're a good side. Um, we've come here today and, and, and got away got away with a point, possibly could have had three. And a word for those 119 travelling Crawley fans, they were outstanding today, weren't they? Battling train strikes as well. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant effort from everybody who turned up today because of the train strikes, but also I feel that the players really put in a shift for them. So, you know, I'm hoping that they had plenty to sing about, you know, and, and really kind of felt the effort. I certainly did sitting, sitting here, felt the effort that the players put in. Thank you, Lawrence, thank you for joining us. Uh, an interesting debut for yourself, a six-goal thriller here at Edgeley Park. Can I just get your thoughts on the game first? Yeah, um, obviously, great one for the neutral uh, and the fans. Um, six goals, um, three both ends. Um, obviously, it's a tough one. We went 2-0 down and, and the lads were, were down and, and we thought, you never know what's going to happen. And we got the goal just before half-time and then the half-time team talk came out second half to go and have a go and, and try and win the game, not just take one point, but go and get three points because we felt like we were still in the game. Um, and then we turned it around to go three to up and it was just about seeing the game out and unfortunately we couldn't. But yeah, it's a, it's a tough one to take in the end. We wanted three points, but to come here and get the point, it, it's not a bad result at all. Yeah, I thought you summed up brilliantly there. Can you sort of describe the lads' sort of emotions in the dressing room at full time? Because as you say, having been 2 or down, to come back get ahead 3-2 is absolutely fantastic and it shows great determination but then to sort of you know concede a goal with only a minute of normal time left to play it must be pretty gutting but overall how are the emotions? To be fair it just shows how far they've come as a group um, I'm so surprised to go in there at the end of the game and obviously just join to see to see the lads so down um, obviously we've come to a place like this a uh, big club 
spent a lot of money and should be up there towards the end of the season and to be coming, coming away uh, with a point and the lads being so down it's it just shows where they are and yeah it's a positive obviously to come, come and get a point but we wanted all three and, and sadly we couldn't see it out. Yeah and such a, a personal note for you, a goal on your debut, kind of really gone much better down that end of the pitch for sure anyway, I mean what a great finish, talk us through it. Yeah, obviously we've worked. We work. We worked on set plays a lot yesterday. Um, the coaching staff take take a lot into take a lot of detail into into what they want. And um, it was interesting actually after the session. I said I texted my my brother after the game, and I was saying about how how, we, how they went into detail on set plays. And obviously we worked on that. And it was a great ball from Kells, and I just got there and stuck my right foot on it and swung it, and it went in the back of net. And yeah, it was a massive relief and a, and a bit um, and I was buzzing to be fair. Yeah, and obviously, as we said, it's a pretty fast introduction for yourself, but there's plenty of games to come. I can imagine you're only just excited knowing, you know, what this club does have, you know, in the locker and, you know, how well we can perform. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of quality in the in the squad. Um, young, uh, want to do well, and, and you can see that. And, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to carrying on now and, and putting a run together after a good performance and a result today. Yeah, and obviously you had a chance to briefly meet some of the fans that you know travelled a long way, you know, battled the train strikes and everything. But a couple of home games next week, and then another the week after that, you must be buzzing to get out there at the Bournemouth Stadium. Yeah, massive credit to the fans. I thought they were fantastic. Could hear them. Uh, travelled in the numbers as many as they could. Um, but yeah, we've got a few home games now coming up on the bounce, and I'm really looking forward to to playing at the Broadfield and, and getting out there and hopefully picking up some wins and, and three points. Perfect. Thank you, Lawrence.